What does it mean, Milks? What does it mean? Acid base is strength? Yeah. Oh, what does pH really mean? Ah, uh, I will tell you. It Good. means the leg negative log of the H plus concentration. Yes, it does. Did you want to hear that? I did. Mm. I love that kind of equation. But we're not actually going to teach you that equation. We're going to teach you yeah. a simplified version Ooh. of it. Yes. Which pains me to teach you the simplified version. But yeah. I, we must move on. The logs are not my favorite, but man, it does it does actually work. I like logs. They I, burn in the fireplace. I like those kind of logs. I mean, it's the log rhythm. <laughs> log rhythms. Oh, so you see math can Ooh. show up. Again. If Don't we wanted that. to teach you this video in a different way, okay. it would just be math the whole time. Yes. But we're going to teach you in a way that makes it a little Visca's bit simpler. not Visca's not here, so we're going to do it this way. Mm -hmm. pH values between 1 and 6 are considered acidic mm -hmm. because they have a relatively higher concentration of H+. Plus than they do OH minus. Right. Okay. That's what makes them acidic there's, solutions. Yeah, there's more o, there's more H pluses there. OH minuses. Seven's neutral. Because there's the same amount. Mm -hmm. So any salt put into water would have a pH of seven. Because nope. it doesn't produce those ions that we're talking about. And water has a pH of seven because if it does happen to move a hydrogen right. ion over, it creates one hydrogen ion yep. and one OH minus and they cancel each other out. Right. It's the equilibrium expression there for you go. water. But so then between 8 and 14 is basic. basic because now there's a relatively high concentration of the OH minus. They are winning and not the H pluses. Because if an H plus shows up, the OH minus is going to react with it to make yeah. water, which is neutral, and thereby eliminating the H plus concentration. So this used to be in our reference tables. I'm going to take a second to draw it. Hope we don't run out of time. But this was a really cool one. So then H plus is down here. And it gets smaller and smaller as it goes. So this was a, a, a different visual for remembering yeah. um, the concentration. So visually, like the see, larger ones. You can means see here the concentration. concentration is really high. And there. Of H pluses. And over here the concentration of OH minus is really high. So it's kind of an inverse scale, right? And when, in the middle, they're about the same. Right. So when H plus dominates, it's an acid. When OH negative dominates, it's a base. If it's a balance, an equilibrium, it's neutral, pH 7. Sweet. There there it is. Actually, was actually in the reference tables for years. Strong acids uh, will dissociate completely. So hydrochloric acid, hydrofluoric mm -hmm. acid, the type of acid that you would see in TV and drama. Sulfuric as, acid, hydrochloric acid. Right. These are the strong ones that would see in TV and drama as melting stuff, causing physical damage to yes. people, reacting with metal. Okay. Sure. Those are extremely strong acids. They but dissociate. Scientifically, completely. the strong means they dissociate completely. That's the key. It doesn't just mean concentration because well, i can does. make hydrochloric acid that is at a very slow concentration and will barely make you itch but it's technically a strong acid because it dissociates completely, completely. in water right. that's the key they generally have a ph range of zero to four right but this real definition is dissociate completely we guess conversely they do not dissociate completely we're not going to get into the equilibrium we could get into some other complex AB math chem. yep not going chem. they generally have a range of four to six point nine but they're weak because they don't dissociate completely, not because they won't hurt you. Right. They could still hurt you, but in high concentrations. Okay. Same reason when strong bases will dissociate completely. These things have a pH of 11 to 14, like concentrated drain cleaner tablets, concentrated um, laundry detergent Why? tablets, packets, uh, cement and concrete even, because of the ingredients have extremely strong pHs, so you want to wear gloves and protect you when you handle that yep. stuff. Yep. Weak bases. Weak just means in incomplete dissociation, so, a little bit lower down in the range, and we're moving on. Good. Let's get into what it means. Okay. So each step on the pH scale relates to that hydronium concentration. This is key. In molarity. Correct. Okay. So a pH of 1 technically means you take the number 1.0 for 1 molar and multiply it by 10 to the negative 1. Right. Which turns into a concentration. So I'm going to circle a couple things. So a pH of 1... That one doesn't mean that one. No, it doesn't mean that one. It means this negative, this one, up negative top. one up there. So when you take 10 to the negative one, you move the decimal place one time and you get that point one left. molar. You get smaller and smaller the bigger the number of pH gets. Right. So pH of two. Now the two comes up and means, now it's 10 to the minus two. Which is smaller than. But now you need to move the decimal over. And now pH two has a less concentration than pH one. Right. No, notice oh, we're hydronium. starting at the at the at the most acidic at pH one. Right. Let's Actually, pH one. zero is even crazier. Let's right. See one. So if I take it up to seven, now I got a pH of seven. The seven goes up there, and then all of a sudden we have a concentration even lower. 
Okay. So what if I had a pH of 14? So I put the 14 up and I'd move it over 14 spots. This is really how logs work in shorthand. Mm -hmm. I'm not typing it in no calculator. Right. It, so there'd be 14 zeros in front of that one, even less concentrated in H plus. So that's why a pH of 14 means very low H plus concentration, which as we know means very high OH negative concentration. Right. We are not going to get into POH. Oh, wow. That's again, that's AP Chem. Um, notice this 10 times increase, it's big because that's what happens. So let's talk this through. If I'm going from four, pH of four to a pH of five, I'm becoming more basic. So I'm increasing my basicity. So my OH concentration is increasing by a factor of 10 because in between four and five is one. So then times 10 is 10. So one step is a times 10, two steps is not 20. It's 10 times 10, which is 100. Okay, there's another key. So we're gonna make sure we do that in this next piece, okay? So the second piece, becoming less acidic, okay? It's becoming less acidic, going from four to five, it's becoming more neutral. So my H plus concentration goes down, and because I only moved a pH of one, it's going down by a factor of 10 times, okay? This next example is gonna work out the same way, but that 10 times is going to change significantly. Yeah, so for every step, you do 10 times 10 times 10 times Correct. 10. So it's five it's steps, you do 10 times 10 times Correct. 10 times 10 yeah, times it's 10. Yeah, exponent. It's not 10 times It's not five. 10 times five. No, that's 50. 10 times 10 is 100. Times another 10 is 1,000. Right. Times another, et cetera. The key the is, is that we need to know that because you know the regents is gonna put that 10 times five Ooh, is yeah. 50 on there as a choice if you don't know your stuff. So now, 13 to 10, I'm moving three spots and I'm becoming more acidic because I'm moving closer to the acid range by three steps. So my H plus concentration increases, but 10 times 10 is 100, times 10 is 1,000. So it's 1,000 times more concentrated in terms of H plus. Conversely, if I'm going from 13 to 10, I'm actually becoming less basic. I'm becoming more neutral. So my OH minus concentration is going down. Again, I moved a step of three. Three steps is 10 times 10 times 10, which is 1,000. My OH concentration went down by 1,000. Three steps, 10 to the third, which is 10 times 10 times 10, which is 1,000. Good? Yep. Good. Let's do a little bit more. This is right off the practice packet. So we're going to do a few right off the practice packet. We'll yeah. talk about stronger or weaker even on this too, okay? Do it. So 5 to 3, um, my pH, my acidity is becoming stronger. Yeah. So stronger acid. I'm becoming a stronger acid. I'm going two steps. Five to three is two steps, so that's 10 times 10, which is 100. I'm 100 times more concentrated. H plus concentration. Okay? Good. Eight to four. Eight to four, I'm moving four steps. So four steps is now 10 raised to the four, which is 10 times 10 times 10, which is 1,000 times another 10, which is 10,000 times more acidic. So there's 10,000 times more H plus ions in solution. That's a lot, okay, that's a lot. That's why we needed the logarithmic scale to represent it in a simple number instead of all the scientific notation. Yeah, because this number numbers. one through 14 is a lot easier to understand. Um, let's do, yeah, let's do four. Let's just jump one, see, see if everybody's paying attention. If I move from 14 to 7, I am moving 7 steps. Oh, my goodness. That's 10 to the 7, so that's 10 times 10. How about 7, how about 10, 7 zeros after it? Make it with 7 zeros, man. 4's got 4 zeros, 2's got 2 zeros, 7's got 7 zeros. I'm going to play a numbers game. There you go. 10 million times. 10 million times more acidic. H plus ion concentration mm -hmm. going up, and we out. Yeah, I don't think we have any more I think you can do the rest of the practice all by yourself. Remember, Follow the steps. However many steps it was is you raise 10 to that number. Yes. And it's more acidic or more basic depending on which direction it's going. There you go. On PH scale. See you guys.